Hi you guys, it's me. I am back. We are basically doing a part two of this grand spring thrift haul. If you haven't seen part one, I will link it up here for those of y'all who are new here. And by the way, if you are new here, hello, my name is Adriana and I'm into art, fashion, and thrifting. So if you're into that as well, then please subscribe. Okay, so as I said, this is basically a continuation of my last video, which is a spring thrift haul. So again, I'm just gonna be showing y'all all the lovely pieces that I have picked up all throughout these months and again I will be doing it in the style of just like this chit chat trying it on talking about the clothing as I go and anything from Depop the shop name will be in the corner and also in the description as well. This haul is going to include a couple of accessories as well from some lovely little shops. Okay, so before we get into all these glorious, wonderful, thrifty goodies, I want to share something special with you guys. I am just like, wow, I can't believe this happened, but for the first time ever, a brand has reached out to me me yes me <laughs> so the glasses brand by the name of tijn eyewear reached out to me so i want to share with you guys the pairs of glasses that they sent me first off they sent me a pair of prescription glasses and they've been my main ones that i've been wearing all the time they are these lovely metal frames metal glasses with this red tortoise shell on the frames and they're very comfortable, really good style, pretty much go with everything. So those were the prescription pair that they sent me. They also sent me two more pairs. One is a pair of sunglasses and another is a pair of eyeglasses, but they're just not prescription. So the sunglasses that they sent me are these simple gold sunglasses with these black lenses on them. These are just like a really simple style. They're a nice throw on sunglass to go with any fit. And then the last pair I want to share with you guys are these lovely gold frames. This style of glasses are the most popular. Like I see everyone wear this style of glasses and for a good reason. I feel like they're pretty much flattering on anyone and just like the gold goes with anything and everything that you could wear. These are very reminiscent of my previous glasses. They were guest frames. So if you kind of are looking for a dupe for that, these are a good style. Okay, so thank you so much TIJ and Eyewear and also thank you guys, all of you who have subscribed to me and made me relevant enough for businesses to actually reach out to me. I will leave the details in the description and they wanted me to include their website. I don't get paid for any of this, they just sent this to me and wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so enough with that. We're gonna get into this thrift haul. I have a few accessories I wanna show you guys. Okay, so the first pair of accessories I wanna share with you guys are these retro flower earrings and I love how each petal is just its own beautiful color and just like every single one of these colors I love so much and I love that kind of like 70s feel that they've got to them and they're just really unique design and you guys this shop needs more love I just kind of randomly discovered them and they have really cute earring designs and they're a shop from Depop their name is XD Spicy and she just hand makes all of these really unique fun earring designs so if you're into like funky colorful earrings this is definitely the shop for you okay and the next pair of earrings i want to share with you guys are these adorable black and white polka dot pom-pom earrings my first pair of pom-pom earrings i mean come on they're so cute so unique and these are from a shop called girl pom-pom 
I discovered them on Instagram and you can find them on Etsy. Just another fun pair of earrings to add to my collection. By the way, you guys, are you interested in an earring collection video? I have like a lot of pairs of funky earrings. So if you guys are interested, like let me know. I could definitely do that. Okay, now we are moving on to all the clothing items of this haul. So first things first. So I got yet another pastel striped t-shirt. I know, I know. Okay, quiet down. So I got this very aesthetic lavender and greenish striped t-shirt and look at this adorable little pocket detail like i have mentioned before i'm just trying to get more pastel springy colors into my life into my wardrobe and also i need more purple in my life i can't get enough purple can you guys tell so for this fit i went for an all out purple outfit with this tennis skirt and I've got some white sneakers as well. I definitely imagine myself roller skating in this outfit. My roller skates are purple, my hair is purple, my helmet's purple, like, am I crazy? Maybe. So yeah, really comfortable t-shirt. Also, it's made out of this like terry cloth-ish material, which is kind of strange, but also like unique and cool at the same time. Okay, so next thing I picked up is this beautiful, patchwork little cardigan shirt kind of thing. Our lovely aesthetic queen Lin Trong here on YouTube inspired me to pick up this piece. She posted a photo on Instagram and she had this like amazing patchwork like cardigan and it was super colorful and fun and I'm like yo I gotta get me something like that. And the opportunity arised on Depop so I bought this lovely little number the spring colors so beautiful so precious and i love how i can just like button it up and i can wear it as a top or i can just layer it have some fun with it and i love that so let me show you all the full fit yeah i think this one's definitely a favorite from this haul just so unique and fun Okay, you guys, here we go with the next fit. So the next piece I want to show y'all is this adorable baby yellow little skirt. It is a vintage piece that I found on Depop, and I paired it with this. Actually, it was originally a dress. Do you guys remember my bundle brat video? This is the dress that I received, so I kind of styled it as a top instead. And it just worked out so perfectly, like look how the yellow matches, everything looking so cute, so springy. And then for my shoes, went for my cute little block heels. It's been a while since I wore them, but they just really make an outfit more adorable and feminine and cute, you know? Yeah, and then with my hair, like, oh, you guys, every time I wear purple, like, I'm just thriving, you know? Alrighty, next piece. We've got this very adorable bright pink little fuzzy cardigan. I love how it's in this like chunky, you know, cozy kind of fit. I love that fit for cardigans. So this is originally a Forever 21 piece. I don't know, I guess Forever 21 at some point like had a lot of fuzzy clothing. But I found this on Depop. Yeah, obviously I'm just like so into the fuzzy texture. I love textured things things and look at this yellow and pink combo what do you guys think i'm kind of digging this for spring if i want to do that like cropped fit i can literally just like tuck it in and you get the same effect so a little tip for y'all you don't have to cut your stuff just tuck it in and give it that illusion of the cropped fit i really like doing that from time to time okay next piece in this haul so i found these incredible vintage striped shorts love the colorway on these just like bright teal pink in this like purpley blue color we love it and again perfect for spring and to be honest y'all i'm a little stumped on how to style these honestly i don't have really much in my closet that goes with these colors so i kind of just went for like a little graphic tee and i belted the shorts but this is like my favorite Graphic tea, my Keith Haring tea. Love you, Keith Haring. My number one inspiration. I believe these were pretty inexpensive. I want to say these were like 20 bucks or something like that. Also, once again, I am asking you guys, 
Are you interested in me making a striped vintage clothing collection because I do have quite a few pieces of clothing that are really cool and I would love to share with you guys and also like style them for you. If you're interested in that, like let me know. I'll definitely do that. All right, next item I want to share with you guys. I found this beautiful sheer top. I got it from Goodwill and it has this beautiful pearl embellishments all over and yes it's very see-through so I'm wearing a bra underneath and look at these beautiful bell sleeves I love this this is definitely something for more fancier occasions and I could also layer it like probably with like a black dress you know there's so many things you can do and I just love and adore mesh tops for that reason you can either layer with them or wear them as fun funky tops and for the fit I went for my silky luxury white or I guess off-white creamy pants do you guys remember these as well these are from my zodiac bundle I need to like share this with you guys these little pearls they're like attached by this metal thing underneath like you can't see it but they're like metal underneath so the metal is touching my bare skin at like a tiny little point on every single pearl so the sensation is like this weird like cold like pins and needles sensation like all over like every point there's like a pearl it's like a tiny little like super cold feeling it's honestly really strange like I could only describe it as like a pins and needles sensation it's not like really painful but it's just incredibly strange <laughs> okay moving on to the next thing okay so the next thing I want to show y'all okay I'm just really proud of this outfit by the way <laughs> but I got this rainbow striped ribbed knit top it's got this like retro look to it that I love and the brand is Daisy Street which is a brand that I like from time to time but I went for this like 60s inspired fit as you can see and I went for these slingback heels that I bought off Depop a while ago. Okay, you guys, so this is the last and final piece of this haul. And for this piece, it's got a story. First off, this top, I thrifted this several years ago. This has just been in my closet. I just like thrifted it randomly. One day, I'm scrolling on Depop and I was just searching through vintage floral shorts and I came across these shorts and now I've got a freaking matching set. I had no idea like that this was originally a set and I found its long lost partner and now they could be reunited into this really sick springy summery set. Honestly as a set this doesn't look too bad like I'm kind of getting like Florida mom tourist vibes and sometimes like that's a look you know and mainly I just adore this floral pattern I love this like pinky and purpley blue hues that we've got going on here and to complete the look I wanted to show off these flower sunnies that I like to wear around springtime and then for shoes, we've got my little mules, my white mules, my springy mules. Yeah, this is kind of a really fun out there outfit, but I don't care. I love to have fun. We're here to have fun and feel good. It's what my channel's all about. So yeah, that's, that's it for <laughs> you guys. Okay, and that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you are not already, please follow my two Instagrams. I have a main one where I post my outfits and other stuff. And then I have an art Instagram. So if you haven't already, give those a follow. I have some news for you guys. Your girl got the COVID vaccine. Ginormous weight has been lifted off my shoulders like just whew, like I honestly want to cry when I think about it and what I been through like the mental turmoil that I experienced throughout this lockdown and just knowing that finally this is over for me I feel incredible <laughs> so that's why I'm like extra happy <laughs> so with that being said you guys I'm 
back bringing you guys some thrifty content. I mainly wanted this channel to be a thrift channel, so now is the time for me to come back. All the come thrift with me as you could ever want. So if you guys have any video suggestions, like leave them down below, like literally anything goes at this point because now I am comfortable with going out and going thrift shopping. And another little update is that I'm like out of my mental slump. I'm like really honing in on like establishing an aesthetic for myself and this channel so again you guys are gonna be seeing some changes in the way i edit and all that stuff so i hope you guys continue to stay with me and thank you so much again for being with me on this youtube journey and i am just always striving to improve and yeah adrianana 2.0 we're back and we're ready all right i'll see you guys in my next video stay positive and always be creative all right see ya bye